dermatologist Sarah Spivey and welcome to my kitchen. And this is my husband, Michael, Michael Bringardner. Hey, Michael today is going to try to teach us how to make the perfect cup of coffee. He's a barista and how long have you been in coffee for? Been in coffee for about eight years. Yeah, so he knows what he's talking about. So the uh, materials and ingredients you'll need, you'll need uh, fresh whole bean coffee, uh, you'll need some kind of a kettle, uh, you'll need a receptacle for the coffee to go into, uh, you'll need a scale to weigh things, you'll need the V60 dripper, and a V60 filter, and some way to grind beans. So this grinder that Michael is using here is called a burr grinder. He's not going to do this right now because it's going to be <laughs> way be too loud. loud, but basically what a burr grinder is, is it is two sets of discs that physically, literally grind the beans. Pure water is absolutely important because that coffee is 98% water. We have a Brita filter in there that we put that water in. That helps get all the impurities of the tap water out. If you just use tap water, you're going to get all of the tap water flavors in your coffee, which is not great. <laughs> so um, you're going to place your uh, receptacle on top of your scale. You're going to put the V60 on top of that, balance it. And then you're going to take the paper filter. There's a little line right here on the edge, and you're going to fold over that so that it fits in the V60, like this. Awesome. Um, so now you're going to take some hot water. Uh, you're going to pour it into the paper filter, and that's going to do a couple of things. Uh, one, it's going to preheat the vessel that you're going to be dripping your coffee into. It also uh, wets the filter and gets a lot of that papery taste out of the filter, so that's not getting into your cup of coffee at the end. This next part is called the bloom. So you're going to put 20 grams of coffee uh, right here into the middle of the filter. I'm going to make a little well with my finger right here in the center. And then we're going to pour 40 grams of water into that well and make sure that we get all of the grounds wet. Basically what it does is as you do this, you'll notice some bubbles starting to form, right? And that's actually carbon dioxide from the beans that's being released. And we want to release some of these, this carbon dioxide. Mike's going to take a spoon and go north, south and east and west. You want to release some of those carbon dioxide bubbles because if you leave too much carbon dioxide in there, it's going to taste sour and we don't want that sour taste. No. no. And so we're going to wait for about 45 seconds. Uh, after 45 seconds, I'm going to start pouring right in the center and then I'm going to slowly start doing smaller circles and then work my way out. This whole thing is, I've, I've done it recently and started to make my coffee this way in the morning. It's really nice to take this much time in your coffee and uh, just be in control of all of the water elements from a really even pour so that way you don't get chunks. Uh, even just to how rich you want the coffee, you can mess around with the ratio a bit. We're doing a 1 to 15 ratio. We find that that makes a good coffee without making it obnoxiously strong. Uh, but you could also do it a little lighter if you wanted a little bit less of a coffee taste and you could also make it really strong. And so now we're going to take the spoon and we're going to do once clockwise and once counterclockwise. That's just going to break off any of the grinds that want to stay on the side of that filter so we get an even extraction at the end. Makes sense. So again, just to reiterate, we used 20 grams of coffee. We bloomed it for about 45 seconds and then we used uh, 300 grams of water there uh, to really make for a really nice ratio. And we'll take the spoon, we'll stir the coffee up a little bit and then we should just pour it right into your mug. Yay! Wait, you should have some too. No. No, you don't. This is all you. Thank you. This is actually my first cup of coffee of the day. And? Thanks! This is great! So now we can... <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> so now you know how to make the perfect cup of coffee at home. Again, you can add cream and sugar if you want, but I like my coffee black.